Hello, I'm Elm Meter, president of Pure and Secure here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and we are in the water treatment business. And I've been in it personally for 30 years. I've been to more than 70 countries, and I've done everything from lecturing, helping to install, training people, and, uh, and other things relating to water treatment. There are a number of different ways that you can do water treatment. And the one that I am most passionate about is distillation. Now, having said that, you've all heard of filters, reverse osmosis. They're very common. You probably have not heard of distillation. And I want to explain a little bit about distillation to you today. First thing I want to do is to uh, show you that um, two glasses of water that look identical may not be, in fact, identical. And uh, there are certain contaminants in the water that dissolve, that conduct electricity. And through that conductance, we can measure the amount of contaminants of those contaminants that are in the water. And I've got here a TDS meter, Total Dissolved Solids meter. To give you some idea of total dissolved solids, seawater is about 35,000. The tap water here in Lincoln is probably around 300, 350. Distilled water is close to zero, if not zero. And I'm going to show you the difference between these two glasses of water. This is the TDS meter. It is a uh, temperature adjusted unit that um, has a digital readout. And if you can zoom up on that, we can see that this has got a reading of zero, zero, zero. There are two electrodes in here, and the reason it's zero is there's no electricity be between those electrodes. There is a battery in here though, so it's charged, and if, there was, if I put this into water that has materials that can conduct electricity, it will create a reading. So the first thing I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to put this into distilled water. Well, I don't know if it's distilled water or not. I won't know until we read it. And lo and behold, there's the reading, zero, zero, zero. Now I take the same TDS meter and I put it into, this is water out of our tap here at the company. And, <laughs> and it is reading, well, you can't read it when I take it out but it is reading 309 or 308, it was 310 before, but this is tap water. This contains solids that are dissolved in the water that you can't see. So you might ask me, what are these solids? They could be calcium, they could be magnesium, they could be lead, they could be a number of things that are in that water. Go back to the distilled water, shake it off a little bit here and take a look at it. And uh, it's now reading 001. So we've gone from 308 down to 001. I might say that the one is there because we probably had some water droplets from here that were contaminated and when I put it in here, it didn't dilute out properly. But we know we shut off with zero, zero, zero. And we have slightly contaminated that water. It's zero, zero, one. So one part per million here and 308 parts per million in this glass. This is the tap water. And I'm going to show you how we can take tap water and convert it into water like this. Why is this important? This is important. If you live in Flint, Michigan, it is very important. Flint has a lot of lead corrosion from the pipes. That lead is a, is a very dangerous contaminant, toxin. Once it gets in your body, your body has no way to reject it. So it's a cumulative toxin. If there was lead, if we lived in Flint and there was lead in that water, by Taking it to, by distilling the water, you could get that contaminant out. 
And later on, I'm going to show you how a distiller operates, and we're going to see, read the numbers as we go, and I'll show you how it works.